Hi, I'm Jacob Engelsman. This is Simple and Complex, two ingredient recipes for the home cook. And today we are making a candy called Kaluga, which I have only ever found in one book, which is the Alice B. Toklas cookbook, which is an amazing book, by the way, about living in France during the turn of the 20th century. Check it out, it's really cool. And this recipe is made with half a cup of sugar and half a cup of heavy cream. And we're putting that under a medium high heat and we're just going to stir it until it melts. Some of the moisture cooks out and it gets really fun. Okay, when it starts to bubble, you might have to lift it up just until the bubbles go down a little bit. So, I forgot how much this one bubbles up, so I've decided to switch it into the bigger pan that I usually make it in. And get that on the medium-high heat again. And we'll let it come back to a boil. And here you notice it's starting to get a bit thicker. That's water from cream boiling out and the sugar is caramelizing. It's almost forming a cohesive mass, which is just what we're looking for. And it's important you not stop stirring this after this starts happening. And also you'll notice it's starting to get brown. And here in about 20 or 30 seconds it's going to start getting pretty dark pretty fast. Now, how dark you want this really depends on you, how strong a caramel flavor you want. The recipe in question calls for you to cook it until it is the color of coffee with cream, which does not really tell you much, because we don't know how they took their coffee. I'm just going to give it maybe 10 or 15 more seconds and then pour it onto the parchment. Okay. The 
this is going to cool very rapidly. And ideally, you want to see if you can form it into a rough square before it cools too much. And you want it to cool with those bubbles in it. They form a nice texture. And we're going to let that cool for a minute. And then cut it into 16 pieces with the bench knife. So after it's been about 30 seconds, just give it a touch and if it doesn't stick to your fingers or hold a fingerprint, then it's ready to cut. You don't want to wait too long or it won't cut evenly. It'll just crack. Let's cut it into quarters that way. that way. And then let it finish cooling and it'll break together and break apart nicely. And you can use either parchment paper or what's called a sill pad, which is a silicone reusable baking sheet. But you can't really do this on a cutting board. If you have a marble slab, you could do it on that, but I feel like silk hats are far more common than marble slabs. And there we have it. Kaluga from the Alice B. Toklas cookbook, made of heavy cream and sugar, on Simple and Complex, two ingredient recipes for the home cook. You can follow me on Twitter at 140recipes, and I am the expert cooking consultant, I guess, for Binteo.com under the name Minimalist Chef. Thanks for watching.